very interesting project going on by a mutual YouTube friend of ours. I won't mention his name uh, because I don't know if he wants me to. Anyway, this gentleman is running an experiment where he's going to heat water using PV or solar panels and he's also going to heat water using a flat plate collector and he's going to run a drag race basically to see which one does the best job and uh, he's been told that he in, in the case of the PV array where he connects the solar panels to the heating element he needs to have a multi power point tracker in between the arrays and the heating element and I say no and I'll show you why I've done this before so I just pulled all my stuff out and I went up back outside because we had good sun and I, I took a heating element for a hot water tank for a water heating tank one 72 cell 320 gross watt solar panel and I connected them up put them in a bucket of water and I ran a load test I took my solar isolation meter out there I found out how much actual sun we have and I compared the two and the panels are running right where they should be directly connected they're running at near maximum output directly connected to the water heating element the, 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 the critical part is you need the proper ohms your heating element ha in my case has to be about 9 ohms and that's where it's at and it takes my panel which has a volt, volt VOC of around 46 volts and it puts it right around 39 to 40 volts right where you want it to be and the thing is when your sun changes it's not the voltage that changes, it's the current that changes. Well, we, ha we have a constant load with a, with a heating element. It's a constant 9, nine ohms. So you're, 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 it's perfect for, for this situation. You don't need a multi-power point tracker between the panel, the PV panel, and the load to make it better because it never changes it's it's either right or it's not and 9 ohms is right where we need to be so you will see that in the video that I'm married to this one and this video here kind of shows you a little bit this is your I'm sure everybody that's into solar knows what this is this is your multi maximum power point right here and and you 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 can be you can this is your voltage and that's your power that's your current right there right so you marry the two you get watts anyway this is your voltage you can be you know you can be over a range here let's say that's 39 volts this is maybe 40 this is 38 37 you get the point you you can be off a little bit and you're still going to get the majority of the power you, you know you're, you're going to get virtually all the power out of that panel provided your load is right and like I say that you'll see in the video so anyway I'm gonna stop talking now figure out how to put these two videos together I'll, I'll do it somehow anyway thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk soon